I'm Tim of Gothberg, and welcome to the world of Glossuta Organau. Today, I'll be your guide to the proper usage, care, and maintenance of your 60s panorama date. It's important to recognize that this automatic winding timepiece nevertheless can be manually wound. For example, should it run down, simply take the crown in its first position flush to the case and turn it 20 to 30 turns in a clockwise direction. This will be sufficient to start the watch, and you'll see the seconds hand advancing to know for sure. Now, at this point, you can set the time, set the date, and the watch will continue to energize itself. But should you wish to wind the watch up to its maximum rated power reserve of 40 hours, plus or minus 5%, simply continue turning the crown in the clockwise direction. Due to the bridle style mainspring, which slips to relieve any excess tension, you cannot accidentally overwind this watch. Therefore, simply continue turning until you hear a subtle click or tick. That's the bridle slipping, and it's your sign that the watch is now fully energized. Now, there are two subsidiary functions that allow more precise time and date setting. The first is stop or hacking seconds. Pull the crown out two to tenths from flush to the case. Now you'll see the seconds hand is halted. On the case back, the balance is no longer beating to and fro. Now you can synchronize the watch to a known accurate reference time, such as an online atomic clock. The best way to do this is to stop the seconds hand at the index at 12, set the hour, and then set the minute hand to the next nearest minute compared to your reference timer. When the reference timer catches up to the second minute an hour, Relative to the time you set on the watch, push the crown back in at the moment that they're identical. That will restart the watch, and now you've synchronized your reference time. The quick set date for the panorama datum at 6 o'clock is accessed by pulling the crown out one detent from flush to the case. Now, by turning in a counterclockwise direction, one half turn for every day, you can use the quick set function for the double digit date. Now it's important that this function never be used between the hours of 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. as this is the period during which the watch is engaged in the automatic changeover of the date. Attempting to use the quick set from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. can crash the movement and cause significant damage, so take note before using that function. There are Three primary hazard areas to be mindful of while handling your watch. Water, magnetism, and shock. Water is the most significant threat to a fine timepiece. Now it starts with the strap itself. While this watch is water resistant to three bar or 30 meters static test depth, leather, a natural porous material, is never water resistant, so keep it secure from moisture in all cases. With respect to your timepiece itself, you can help avoid accidental drowning. Keep the crown flush to the case and its functions disused while your watch is submerged or even while there is water on the case. As attempting to use the crown for setting or winding with water on the case can bypass the seals and introduce water to the interior of the watch, which invariably becomes a greenhouse to catastrophic mechanical and cosmetic consequences. Furthermore, unlike mechanical specifications, water resistance of a watch is never a static feature, and over time, as seals age and lubricants degrade, your watch will be relatively less water resistant in time. Therefore, Glossuta Organal recommends at least every 12 months taking your watch to an authorized service center for a dry static water test to confirm original factory hermeticity is still intact. Magnets are not only ubiquitous, but they are the silent killer of a watch's precision. The ferrous hairspring at the center of your watch's balance, effectively the heart of your watch, can become magnetized. And this can happen because magnets are found everywhere, in the closures of wallets, purses, and refrigerators, in speakers and subwoofers, as well as magnetic resonance imaging equipment. And a magnetized hairspring will cause erratic running. It may be very fast, it may be very slow, it may alternate between the two. But if you suspect that your watch has become magnetized, take it to a Glossuta Organal service center where specialized equipment is available to quickly and easily demagnetize your watch. Now finally, concussion will cause more permanent damage to your watch such that it may require service or even replacement of parts. Therefore, Glossuta Organal recommends disuse of a fine mechanical timepiece prior to activities such as the riding of mountain bikes, ATVs, and snowmobiles, batting, golf, tennis, or firearms marksmanship, as all of these activities can severely damage the fine mechanical movement inside your watch. 
Now ultimately, even a well-handled and treated watch will require a comprehensive service every three to five years per the manufacturer. Therefore, take your watch in, preferably during its yearly water test, to have everything checked. The condition of the strap, the finish of the case, the water resistance, and the chronometric performance of the movement. If service is necessary, service exclusively with factory authorized service centers or the factory, as these agencies solely have access to the trained personnel, specialized tools and equipment, and original Glasuto Organal factory replacement parts to preserve the value of your watch as both an investment and as an instrument. Moreover, only these agencies can back all labor and parts invested with a Glasuta Organal factory service warranty. Finally, visit our website at govbergwatches.com and call, text, or email our experts who will be happy to walk you through every phase of the ownership and care of this or any Glasuta Organal fine timepiece.